Hi everyone! So today I had a, an idea. I wanted to try it and so I decided to do so. Uh, not my usual color as you'll see. Um, I usually go with very bright colors. I still have some bright colors but not as a, the usual. I want to start with a base of... Uh, that's a mix of bronze and copper. And I'm going to spread that around, have it cover my whole canvas. Here we go. Nothing too thick, otherwise it will pull in the middle because I'm going to add more paint to this. Little clumps. Move them. Now I'm just gonna use my hair dryer on low speed, low heat to pop the bubbles. Now, the idea I have is to uh, you know these Dutch pours, I've seen a whole bunch of them and I uh, find them really really interesting. Uh, the movement in them and uh, sometimes you can get an impression of light coming through. So I'm gonna try for that and to do that I have some pink. Uh, pink, yeah, and a little bit of zinc white. I mixed some pearl and silver in my pinks to dull them out a little bit to make them not as uh, pink in your face uh, just and give them a little shine as well. So I plan on doing a dirty pour with that or maybe just pour them as rings, I don't know. And I'm going to add a little bit of muted pink ink in one of my pinks. And not mix it, just like that. To contrast with all the shininess and also add something with a different density to have some more effects, I guess. So yeah, I'll start with just rings of colors. And then I will go with the 34. And now I will use my hair dryer to move that around. Oh, I need a extension.
Yeah, I like that. So now I'm gonna give you a time lapse. Uh, let the paint do its thing, and we'll see how it goes. Alright, so apparently my camera stopped. Not sure when, it was somewhere in the time lapse, but um, this is what it looks now. It still is changing, it will keep changing. Uh, I love it, I'm super happy with how it looks right now. Uh, but I think with the changes and all the paint densities and consistencies that were different, it will keep uh, adding some cells, some nice effects, some lacing in between. We can see a little bit of the muted pink uh, just lacing through because it, it wasn't diluted at all. It was so dense that it sank right through. A bit like the zinc white, uh, this is the reason I used it. Uh, it just contours some of the, of the cells in places, but I love it like that. The bronze! <laughs> Uh, when I started the whole canvas was bronze, but now just some streaks here and there. Um, lovely. Uh, I can't wait to see how that will all dry and settle. I think it's gonna look nice, uh, and I can't wait to see how metallic exactly will the um, pinks be, because I added some silver and pearl in them to kind of dull them down, but also add some uh, metallicness. The zinc white is just zinc white, no metallic paints there, but it will dry a lot more transparent than it is now, so it will probably let some pink and bronze shine through, and I think it's gonna be really, really interesting in the middle. Uh, I can't wait to see. Honestly, I'm super excited. I haven't painted this so long, and to have a result like that. <laughs> After weeks and of not painting, uh, I can't be happier. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. And um, I will see you in the next video. Bye!